it's a pleasure and an honor to be with the one and only Joe Acaba, which is uh, actually the chief of astronauts yeah. of NASA. Yes. Joe, thank you very much for being with us in uh, W Radio. What happened today for you as this uh, very amazing announcing? Uh, how can you define this special day? Wow, uh, today was an amazing day. Uh, we announced the Artemis II crew. Uh, this is the crew, the first time in 50 years that we're going to send astronauts around the moon and back to Earth safely. So it was an incredible day for anybody who saw the event. There was a lot of energy in the room, a lot of excitement, so it was a great day. Chief Akaba, um, in a very simple way, can you please explain us uh, which is the process, how you guys uh, managed to select from thousands of, of potential uh, participants these four crew? Yeah, so it's, uh, it's always hard to select astronauts. Uh, we have a very uh, strong astronaut core. We have about 50 astronauts right now. And so from that group, we select uh, astronauts for any mission. Uh, we have missions going to the International Space Station, uh, so we have uh, humans up there that we've had up there continuously for over 20 years. Um, so this mission, like any other, you look at the mission, what are the mission objectives, and which group of individuals will make a good crew. And so it's not about each of the individuals that you saw today, but it's how do they work together, how do they represent the astronaut office, how do they represent America, how do they represent the world, and so it's, it's not hard when you have a great group of astronauts to select from. Chief, um, the fact that this uh, mission will have the first woman and uh, the first uh, African-American, uh, it, it opens a lot of, uh, of windows and, and opportunities. Um, how can you describe this uh, important um, step? Yeah, so you know, part of the Artemis mission is to return or to have the first woman uh, walk on the moon and the first person of color uh, to walk on the moon. This crew in particular, they're doing that first step. They're going around the room, around the moon uh, to test the various systems that we have. Um, and then from there, we'll pick the next uh, crew. And eventually, we'll have a crew that's going to walk on the moon. And I think it's going to be a crew we can all be proud of. And it's something that students can look at and they can look at those individuals and go, wow, that person looks like me. That person has a similar background. If they can do that, I can do that as well. And that's part of our mission with Artemis. Chief, what do you expect to achieve arriving to the moon? Is there something in particular that you would say, okay, we would like to, or I would feel proud that we can find X or Y in the moon? Yeah, for me as the chief of the, uh, the astronaut office, my main objective is always to get the crew back safely. Um, so especially on this first mission, that's what we're looking at. It's a test mission. They're all going to be test missions. Uh, but we have a lot of mission objectives to learn more about the moon. As we do that, we learn more about our solar system. We also test out systems that help us with life here on Earth. And all of this is, you know, looking for us going on to Mars. And we, as humans, we are explorers. And we're going to get to Mars, and this Artemis set of missions is going to help us get there. Last question, and we really appreciate your time. Do you think that with this uh, series of Artemis missions, we will finally um, find the, the potential um, intelligent life, extraterrestrial life that uh, we are looking for? I don't know if we're going to find, uh, you know, extraterrestrial life uh, as part of the Artemis mission. Um, but, of course, as humans, that's always something that we're intrigued about something we want to explore. Um, but the beautiful thing about exploration is you don't know what you're going to find. And that's why we explore, whether you go down to the bottom of the ocean, you climb the highest mountain, you go to other planets, is because you want to explore and you want to learn new things. And we're going to learn a lot with Artemis. Chief of Astronauts, Joe Akaba, thank you very much for your time. We really appreciate it. Thank you. And congratulations thank you. again. Thank you. Thank you.